Israeli tanks and troops have been at the Gaza border for 18 days now. The threat of an on-ground invasion has been looming over the region. From Israeli Prime Minister to the Defense Minister, top leaders have gone to the front line asking soldiers to be ready as time, could for, uh, time for invasion could come soon. But what is stopping Israel? Wall Street Journal's reports say Israel has agreed to delay its invasion for now. The reason cited for the move is to allow U.S. missile defenses into the region. This comes amid increasing number of attacks on U.S. forces in West Asia. American troops in Syria and Iraq have come under fire recently, but there are more reasons to delay the invasion. Days ago, Israel said it will be a deadly war that will change the situation forever. The reason it said so is because its enemies are hiding deep beneath the ground. So what troubled the Americans in the Second World War, in the Iwo Jima battle, and in the Vietnam War, is now standing as an obstacle in front of Israeli forces, a vast and dense network of tunnels. אנחנו נגיע לכל תשתיות הטרור, אנחנו נגיע לכל המנהרות, אנחנו נגיע לכל פעילי החמאס, ועד שלא נחסל אותם, לא נשלים את המשימה. ואני אומר לכם כאן, זאת תהיה מלחמה עצימה, זאת תהיה מלחמה קטלנית, זאת תהיה מלחמה מדויקת, והיא תהיה מלחמה שתשנה את המצב לתמיד. Uh, surveillance tools and military prowess. Israel is apprehensive of stepping foot into Gaza as the underground tunnel network, often dubbed as Metro, presents itself as the most effective tool of asymmetrical warfare. Alion Wion, we had shown you the dense network of these tunnels. All of Hamas uh, leaders are deep underground. They like to deploy themselves under mosques, under hospitals, in tunnels that are all booby-trapped, uh, in the densest populated areas uh, as a way, again, of ensuring that Israel has to kill large numbers of, of Palestinians. Uh, they want to stigmatize Israel. They want to create pressures from the outside to stop Israel. But they crossed the line. These tunnels often work as a lifeline for Palestinian militants equipped with electricity and communication system. These tunnels present itself or present themselves as a panacea to escape Israeli bombardment, secretly move positions, resupply their forces, hide hostages and execute surprise attacks. In fact, even now, Hamas is holding around 200 hostages at different locations inside these tunnels. Listen to the first-hand account of a recently released hostage. But now experts say Israel could shift its strategy. The war-struck country has deployed specialized forces called Yahalom to counter the challenge of underground warfare. According to a U.S. Seymour Hush, Israel is even considering flooding these tunnels ahead of the ground incursion. A father says that Israeli military is even willing to sacrifice those who might be held hostage in these tunnels. Now one cannot say if and when the invasion would happen. But one can certainly say that the thing standing between Hamas and Israel is a daunting obstacle of tunnels. A labyrinth that continues to puzzle Israeli authorities.
Retired Lieutenant Colonel Daniel L. Davis is a military expert and senior fellow for defense priorities. He's also host of Daniel Davis Deep Dive on YouTube. Colonel Daniel is joining us live from Virginia. Colonel, welcome to the show. Israel is considered to have the technical and military expertise to locate and hit precisely. Then what is the problem with the tunnels in your view as they've been hitting the so-called Hamas infrastructure? Well, you know, I, I think that there's a little bit of an exaggeration there in, in claiming that, uh, you know, I hear it repeated all the time that Israel has this high tech capability to identify and strike targets, uh, tunnels. I'm not so sure that it's actually that that capable. In fact, we've seen as recently as 2021 uh, and 2018, where, where Israel was uh, trying to interdict tunnels on the Lebanese border and then also in the Gaza Strip. And they had a lot of difficulty finding them. Uh, they have been able to find a lot of them, but the problem is that the, that uh, this, as Israel learns how to find them, Hamas learns how to hide them, and they learn how to dig them more effectively and more efficiently, and they're very good at it. So even if you're finding these tunnels, they're very quickly going to be repairing them or replacing them or even digging new tunnels in some areas. So it, it's it's a very difficult thing to find. It's a hard thing to take them out, and as you've been talking about here, to actually go into this tunnel system is extremely uh, challenging and difficult and, and time consuming and and personnel consuming. There's a, a large casualties that you have there because you can't go anywhere, obviously. Uh, and then you're subject to booby traps or, or even long distance fires because a lot of these tunnels are zigzagged. And so the people who build them understand how the things are built. They know where some of the, the trap doors may be that the Israeli side is just not gonna know. Uh, and, and it's gonna be a very high casualty producing problem for Israel. Colonel, it's being suggested that Israel could plan to flood the tunnels. Is that possible? You know, I mean, just logistically, the, the amount of water that would be necessary for that is just mind boggling. I mean, millions of gallons. I don't know where Israel would get that much water. Uh, I, I suppose it is possible in certain circumstances, maybe if there's a, a narrow tunnel or something and they have a lot of water, then perhaps they could do that. But uh, I just can't see logistically how that would be feasible. All right. I've been talking to retired Lieutenant Colonel Daniel L. Davis, who's a military expert and senior fellow for defense priorities. He is also host of Daniel Davis Deep Dive on YouTube. Retired Colonel Davis, thank you very much for talking to We On World is One today. See you next time. Thanks. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.